I like that music gives you certain feelings every now and then, or that you can tie a song to a certain memory or to a certain person. And that's kind of like how I take photography too. My name's Orlando. My last name is Palagio. You can pronounce it however you want. Basically what I do is like portrait and fashion is what I specify in. So how many years would you say it's taken you to get where you are now? Five. Five. The years that were slower, I was like at least studying. What are other things that you'd say inspire you and your work besides fashion? Fashion's my thing. And so I would go to Barnes and Nobles, for instance, and I would just open up a fashion magazine, like look through it, not buy it, like unless I really, really liked it. Yeah. Or I would like study up on like, okay, not necessarily like logistics and like the technical things of photography, but more of like, okay, what inspires me? And opening up those avenues a lot more. So it's, Fashion's inspired by a huge, like, conglomerate of other things. So, like, you go to museums, you get inspired by a certain art piece, or you see old Renaissance paintings and stuff. Like, that can inspire you. Um, learning that, you know, inspiration comes from a lot more than one thing, and it doesn't necessarily have to be just strictly fashion. If you're doing fashion photography, it can, like, open up your mind to, like, other things, too. So... I know you work with Agency Arizona and you, like I saw on your website that you were featured in Vogue, Italia, and Paper Magazine. Yeah. And how does it feel to have worked with such high profile agencies and people? It hasn't really hit me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, even though it's been like, they're like regular clients at this point, it hasn't really struck with me like, oh crap, like I work with Vogue, that's fantastic surreal i guess you're on set with these high profile models and magazines it feels very like oh wow but i don't have time to be like starstruck like i just have to yeah. get to work like, like let's go yeah. everyone has a starting point and just remain humble like always remember that too what would you say is the most rewarding part of doing photography probably like meeting people and like making them feel good everyone that i've shot for the most part has been like i never thought i would look like this like you don't make me look fake but you also like bring out something that I never saw myself. What advice would you give to someone looking to make a name in photography? Time is, time is kind of irrelevant to like your work. Like just shoot, do yeah. you sleep? Just don't stop shooting. It's okay to feel like a failure every now and then. Like that happens to everyone on every level. But like, if you really want it that bad, like you would just continuously like work at it. It's, it's all work and one of the quotes I don't like do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a lie and people like take it and run with it. And I, it's a lie because like, just because you love it doesn't mean it's not going to be work. Like for me, I love taking photos, but what I don't like is like sending invoices. I don't like, I don't like editing everything. Like editing to me, it's like, it's fun sometimes, but I don't like, it's like small little tasks like that. But like, they're going to be work. Yeah. I like shooting editorials, but it doesn't, honestly, with magazines, like, editorials don't pay well. They don't pay as much as, like, say, a client like Sephora. Sephora, the work that you do for them, it'll be very boring and cookie cutter. Like, it'll literally be the same pose, same shot, like, 40,000 different times for, like, 12 hours of your day. You'll get paid a lot more, but it's just going to be boring, and that's when it starts feeling like work. So it's okay to make it feel like work. It's okay to do the things that you don't want to do to get to to like supplement and like have income to do what you actually want to do.